Hey everyone, this is Dan from Veltpixel, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can use Google Tag Manager preview mode to do a little bit of debugging and verify and confirm that your tags are being fired, as well as to check the information that's being sent along with them to Google Analytics. Now, this guide assumes that you do have our Google Analytics 4 for Magento 2 extension enabled and configured. So if, that, if that's not the case, you can check out the video I'll link below to check out the configuration guide and see how you can get it up and running in under 10 minutes. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and head into Google Tag Manager. Open up your container and you'll have this preview button over here. Click that, which will open up the Google Tag Assistant with a link to your page. Now, if this link isn't already here, just uh, go to your homepage and copy the URL, paste it there and click connect. This will open up a new window with your store's homepage. Great. And we can already see that if we go back into Google Tag Assistant, we'll have, we'll already have one tag fired. Now this is the universal tag. This is fired on every single page and it's required to make sure that the data is being sent to Google Analytics, correct? Now let's check, uh, let's go over a bit of a, of a flow that is normal to any user that's browsing your store. Now they'll usually go to the category page. They'll select an item. They'll, uh, open up the product page, add the product to the cart, head over to their cart page and check out all the products that they have before submitting to checkout. Once they're on the checkout, they add their shipping info, they add their payment info, and finally they place the order. Now to verify all this flow, we can do so by heading to the category page. And over here, we see that a item list is loaded. Now the first event we're looking for is a view item list event, which is triggered whenever a list is viewed by a user on your website. A list is considered anything like a category page or a product carousel or a product grid. So if we head over into Tag Assistant, we can see over here in the summary that we have the view item list or impressions tag fired. That's awesome. If we take a look at the event itself in the sidebar and we head over to data layer, we can see all of the data that is sent, uh, that is associated with the event. This is awesome. We have the whole list of items on this page with uh, details about. Now let's head over to the next step, which would be to select the item, head over to the product page and check it out. We should see a view item event associated with this. We see it over here in the specific section, which is the page we're currently on. View item event along with the item details. That's awesome. Now, if we add it to the cart on the same page, we should see a add to cart event again with the item details. Awesome. Next step would be to head over and verify our cart. This should trigger a view cart event. And if we take a look here, view cart, awesome with item inside of it. Now, if we were to head over to the category page and find another product, add that to the cart and then head over to the cart page again, we should see in the tag assistant in the view card event that we have two items, which is also great. Next step is to go to the checkout page. Let's click proceed to checkout. Okay. We're on the checkout. Now we should see a begin checkout event, which contains our items again. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and fill out our details. We'll just fill out anything here because this is a test order. What we'll do, Sienna, we'll do whatever. And over here we have the shipping method, which is also a tag, which is triggered when clicking the next button. This will show us all of the items that we have that we've uh, went into this step with, as well as an additional shipping tier which shows us which shipping tier the user selected. Awesome. Next step is to select our payment method. The add payment method event is triggered upon clicking place order button, which will take us to the success page and we'll see it over here soon. 
Okay, success page, we should see a add payment info, which shows us the payment type that the user selected, as well as a purchase event, which shows us all of the details about the current purchase. Awesome. So that's, that's one regular flow that a user would uh, usually take on your website. But of course, there are other tags that the extension creates and generates. So let's go over those a little bit. In the summary section, we can see every tag that was fired and how many times it was fired. There are also a couple of tags that were not fired. These are tags that are contained within our Google Tag Manager container, but we're not currently in use in the current session. So this is the add the wishlist tag. We can uh, actually trigger that quite easily by adding a product to the, to the wish list. You do need to be logged in for that to trigger. However, uh, the remove from cart event, which can be triggered, of course, self-explanatory when a user removes an item from their cart, view promotion and click promotion. These do require a little bit of configuration, but we'll probably have another video for that. The sign up and login events. These are triggered whenever a user signs up, creates an account on your website or logs into their account. We have the search event, which is triggered when a user runs a search using your search bar. And then we have the product or item list clicks, which triggers an event whenever a user clicks on a product. This is, can be enabled from the extension configuration. Awesome. So that we've taken a look at how we can see which uh, events are fired, what data is behind them. You can also take a look here in Google Analytics to make sure that the events make it Google Analytics to head into reports and then real time. And in this real time section, you'll see all of the events that were triggered. Awesome. Stay tuned for the next video. It's been great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.